A typical cell in the human body has the ability to respond to change. At any specific instant, a cell might be required to divide, increase the rate of its metabolic reactions, induce inflammation, stimulate cells around it, synthesize new proteins, etc. Many of the enzymes which determine these responses to a new stimulus are already present in the cell prior to their activation. Therefore, one of the major aspects of gene regulation is the regulation of proteins which have already been synthesized and are present in the cytoplasm. Perhaps the most important mechanism in the post-translational regulation of protein activity is the addition or removal of phosphate groups on specific amino acids of these proteins. Many intracellular proteins are off until phosphate groups are added to them at which point they are on. These phosphates are added to specific amino acids of the protein such as serine, threonine, and tyrosine. Thus, there are enzymes known as serine or threonine kinases, this is one gene family, and tyrosine kinases, this is a second gene family. Humans have hundreds of genes in the kinase gene families, and this is one of the largest gene families in the human genome. The tyrosine kinases are frequently attached to receptors on the cell membrane, and their evolution and diversification were very important in metazoan animals. The mutation or misexpression of kinases are commonly a cause of disease, and many have been implicated in cancer. In addition to the protein kinases, which add phosphate groups to specific amino acids and typically activate proteins, there are enzymes known as phosphatases, which remove phosphate groups from specific amino acids and typically inactivate proteins. There is a great diversity of specific phosphatase enzymes, some of which may oppose the MAP kinase enzymes and thus inhibit cell division, some of which may inactivate the receptor tyrosine kinases, which are activated once a receptor on the cell membrane has bound to a stimulus. Other phosphatases are activated by tumor suppressor proteins and thus inhibit cells from advancing in the cell cycle and inhibit cancerous growth.